with Mrs. Myers and Mr. Myers and we are super excited to start doing some science with you each week. So this week we are going to start off by doing an experiment that's called hot ice. Hot ice and for fourth graders out there because I teach fourth grade that is called an oxymoron. There's a really big word for you which means two opposite things put in the same word. So hot Ice, something hot, something cold. How yeah, weird. I'm, I'm wondering, like, how could ice be hot? I've never experienced that before. Right. Mm. All right, so let's see what we are up to. Okay, friends, so if you want to try this at home, make sure that you have on your safety goggles. We don't have our science lab coats, unfortunately, but nope. I think we're prepared. Now, this experiment does require you to use your stove. So make sure that parents are there to help you. This is not an experiment. You can do by yourself at home. You need to make sure an adult is with you at all times. Absolutely. So we have our materials list here. So what we need for this experiment is four cups of white vinegar. Okay. And we are using a special measuring tool to measure that out. Can you show us what yes. we... Ta-da! Liquid measuring cup. Ooh, okay. We also need four tablespoons of baking soda. There we go. So we're gonna measure that out with a measuring spoon. We're gonna need a pot. Pot. Got it. And a glass measuring cup. Glass measuring cup. One of those. A dish. Dish. And a spoon. Spoon. <laughs> All right, so we have everything we need here. Now, I'm already thinking about this experiment because I've done an experiment before that used vinegar and baking soda. Me too. <gasps> and I feel like a lot of friends might have mm. also. Think about what's happened last time you used vinegar and baking soda. Uh-oh, I'm mm. already building my hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Okay, our first step of this investigation is to add the four cups of vinegar to the pot. <laughs> Pour slowly. Don't make a mistake. <laughs> and then we're going to slowly add the baking soda to the pot, one tablespoon at a time. So here's one tablespoon. Slowly, slowly. Oh, yeah, because look what happens. Oh, my. What would happen if oh. we would dump all four tablespoons at the same time? Oh, I'm worried it We might. would not do that. Yeah, my overflow. Need a, we don't need a mess. So <laughs> I'm going to wait a little bit before I add the second one. I'm going to let it cool down. Okay, here we go. A little bit more. The noise it makes oh, is really cool. Oh, my goodness. Doing it again. How many? Four. Four. I'm being patient. <laughs> okay, three. You would think it wouldn't bubble as high the third and fourth time. Four. Okay, now what do we do? So now we're going to make sure that all of it is dissolved. So we're going to let it continue to fizz. No more bubbles. And then we are going to turn our stove top on high. Hold on, we got to wait until it stops bubbling. Dun, dun, dun. Let's mix uh, it a little more. I think ready. I'm wondering... Yeah, it looks like some baking soda's in the bottom. See that white stuff down there? Yeah. We want to try to mix them around a little bit. Oh, yeah, oh, see? Oh, my goodness. It's making a bubble a little more. Still a reaction. There we go. Those people that predicted that it would bubble, good job. Okay. We're looking good. Now, we're going to turn the stove on high and let this boil. We are going to keep it on the heat for an hour. So that's a long time, and you guys got to make sure that you're watching it the entire time that it's boiling because you never want to leave a hot stove. Yeah, so once it gets to a boil on high, we're going to lower that temperature down. So we'll put it on high so that it can get to a boil, and then we're going to lower that temperature to like a medium-low heat um, and let it... Stay on that lower heat for over an hour. So we will be back. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to boil on the stove, my brain already has tons of questions running through it. How about absolutely, yours? absolutely. I'm thinking like anything I've ever cooked before has gotten super hot. So the title of this experiment was hot ice. So I can see the hot part. And also all the things that we've put in there have been liquid. And the baking soda dissolved into a liquid, so the, the only thing that's in a pot isn't a liquid. And we know that ice is a solid. And you have to freeze it Correct. to make ice. Like For a you long can time. freeze water to turn into ice. Hmm. So I'm wondering what's going to happen here. Me too. Hmm. 
All right, friends, we are halfway through the boiling. 30 minutes. And we're gonna check in and see what it looks like. All right. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's bubbling up. It really didn't take that much heat. Um, as you can see over here also, we are on half heat. It is not full blast. Um, the directions did say that if you heat it up super hot, it'll turn a yellowish color. Uh, what we're looking for inside of here is um, we want all of this liquid to go down about three-fourths. So we want about one-fourth left or one cup of liquid left. And there should be some white residue that starts crystallizing on the sides. That's showing that we're getting close. So we'll check back in in an hour. Yeah. Um, it's still looking like it's totally liquid to me, though. So still... Still wondering about the ice. Yeah. Okay, so we have about 15 minutes left in our hour waiting time. So it's been about 45 minutes. And we are starting to see some crystals form on the outside edge of the pot. We also noticed our liquid was turning that yellowish brown color they talked about. Um, so we're wondering if maybe our heat was a little too high at the beginning um, part of the boiling, but they said it should not cause an issue with creating this hot ice. Alrighty friends, it is time for us to take our liquid off of the stove. So first we're gonna turn the stove off. And don't forget, the reason we're taking it off is because there's about one cup left. Yes, okay. and it's been about, what, 50 minutes, 55 minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna take it off the stove and carefully carry it over to the sink where we are going to pour it into that glass mix, or I'm sorry, measuring cup. Okay. Now, do not rinse out your pot. You need to put your pot back over near the stove because you're gonna use it um, for something else next. And we're going to put that Pyrex, that measuring cup, into the refrigerator. So you should have saved your pot because the next step for this is to scrape the crystals off of the side. This reminds me kind of of salt. It doesn't look like much is happening, but then when you look at the spoon, there's a decent amount. And you need a little bit of crystals um, because we're going to put that in our container before we pour our hot ice onto it. Look at all that. Wow. I didn't expect all that to come off of there. Neither did I. It didn't look like there was much, but once we started scraping, out there were a lot of crystals over there on the sides. So after you have gathered your spoonful of crystals, you are just going to place it right in the center of the dish that you are using. You also are going to keep that mixture, that liquid in your refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Okay friends, so it has been 30 minutes with that liquid that we boiled sitting in the refrigerator to cool. You have to very, very carefully remove it from the refrigerator and walk it over to your platter where you have the crystals from the side of the heads. And we're gonna slowly pour it on and see what happens. Okay, so unfortunately, this didn't work out exactly as we had hoped. <laughs> it was a fail, but maybe we'll give it another go and see if we can be successful. Right, next but time. we did see that there were crystals that formed inside of here. So it worked a little bit, and if you touch it, it kind of feels like a little bit of ice, kind of like a snow cone or sand. So that's kind of cool. I mean, wasn't a huge fail, I guess, but it didn't turn out in here the way that we would have hoped. Yeah, I mean, we do still have, like, this is basically a plate of ice um, on the bottom of the plate, all of those crystals. Yeah. Right. I don't know, so we'll give it another. Okay, I think we're ready for real this time. This literally appears to be solid ice. If you can see that. But when I touch it, it's still hot. So let's see if we can pour it at all. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> the entire inside has turned into crystals. It was almost like touching a pond that is frozen on the top but still liquid on the bottom. But it's like completely hot still. <laughs> Whoa! So I have these top crystal layers. It really is like you just broke a sheet of ice and had your liquid underneath. That wasn't supposed to happen, but it was still really awesome. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just still fascinated. This is still just like a sheet of ice in my pie pan here. 
and it has even like the shards of ice in it, but I wish you could feel it. The temperature is just, is really still super warm. It's almost like bath water warm. So it's kind of incredible. It really is hot ice. Huh? Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Happy